to Yoga with Erica. Thank you for joining today. So today is day seven. Yay, one whole week. Um, this video is going to be released on Sunday and every Sunday morning in New York, I teach a Pilates class um, and I love that class so much. I always feel like I am torturing my students, um, but they always come in and leave the class with such amazing energy and huge smiles on their faces. So this class is dedicated to my students, especially those who are following along. Shout out to you guys. Um, so this will be a Pilates class today. Uh, like yoga, Pilates uh, improves our muscle tone, specifically in the core muscles, and we really use our breath to guide us through our movements. So there's a lot of similarities here. Uh, this class is really tough, so just use your breath to guide you when things get difficult. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get started. My whole family is home today, so I'm telling them all to be quiet, but hopefully there won't be too many distractions. Let's go ahead and start in a wide-legged child's pose. So we'll place our toes together and let our hips sink back towards the heels. Let's just go ahead and reach those arms out nice and long on our mat. Just go ahead and take a moment to rest your forehead down and breathe here. We'll start by taking a nice deep inhale to fill up the lungs, expanding through the rib cage, and then exhale, let it all go, letting go of all of your breath. Again, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the mouth, just letting it all go. Maybe you want to walk those arms out a little bit longer, sink those hips back towards your heels, just taking a moment to stretch here. Let's take one more round of breath on a nice inhale. And exhale to let it all go. All right, let's go ahead and get moving. We'll start by coming up to all fours. So bring your hands underneath of your shoulders, bring your knees underneath of your hips. Let's go ahead and start by taking the right toes out towards the back of your mat. So just reaching nice and long, take a nice stretch through the back of the leg. Let's go ahead and lift the right foot up nice and high. We are just going to bend the heel in towards the seat and then reach it out nice and long. So bend the heel in and then reach it out nice and long. Don't let that foot uh, drop any lower than hips height. Good, just getting a nice little squeeze through those hamstring muscles. Now make sure that you're pressing down through those hands, letting the shoulders press away from the ears, reaching the spine nice and long, reaching the crown of the head towards the front of your mat. Good, make sure that that left hip stays tucked underneath of you. Let's go ahead and add our breath here. So let's exhale to squeeze the heel in towards the seat. Inhale to reach nice and long. Exhale, inhale, reach. Exhale, inhale to reach. Really beginning to warm up here through the back of the legs, firing up the glutes. Good. All right, then we are going to add on from here. So we'll squeeze the heel in towards the seat, and then we'll kick that foot up towards the ceiling and then reach it out. So we'll squeeze and kick and reach. Squeeze and lift and reach and squeeze and lift and reach. Beautiful. Good, continue to move with your breath here. So inhaling to reach long, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, oops, am I messing up the breath? Inhale to reach, exhale. Beautiful. All right, we just have a few more. You should be feeling this in the back of your leg. If you're not, well, I don't know, <laughs> keep going. We're just here for a few more. Let's take three. Good, and two. And last one. Now let's keep that knee bent in and we're just gonna take tiny presses up towards the ceiling. Good, just tiny lifts here. 
Really important to keep those core muscles engaged. Bring the belly button in towards the base of the spine, lifting that heel up higher and higher. Nice 90 degree bend in the knee. We're here for five and four and three and two and one. Bring that knee down and then we'll kick that foot up towards the ceiling. Bring it down and kick up. Bring it down and kick up. Good. Are you guys feeling this in the back of your legs? I hope so. Good, because I am. <laughs> All right, let's take five, lift, and four, and lift, and three, kicking up. Last two, and last one. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and place that knee down. Let's just take a moment to press back into that child's pose. Woo, all right, rest that forehead down for a moment. Take a moment to connect back to your breath. Take an inhale and an exhale. And on your next inhale, we'll go ahead and rise back up to all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips from here. Take that left foot, reach it out nice and long towards the back of the mat. Toes are down, heel is just reaching back, just pressing back through that foot. Beautiful. All right, from there, tuck my shirt in, we will lift that foot up and then we will bend the heel in towards the seat, extend it out nice and long. Bend the heel in and reach it back out and bend and reach. Exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, so make sure that you keep that right hip tucked underneath of you. You don't want it to reach too far out towards the right side. Again, press down through those hands, reaching out nice and long through the crown of the head. Keep the whole upper body engaged and try not to let that knee drop at all. Good, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, breathing, letting the focus go into the breath as we begin to work those muscles. Beautiful. All right, let's just take a few more. We'll take three and two and last one. Then we add on from here. So we bend the heel in, we press up, we reach out. We bend in, we kick up, we reach out. Beautiful. All right, again, stay nice and connected through the upper body. Beautiful, keep that right hip tucked underneath of you. We wanna make sure that we have really good form to get the most bang for our buck here. Really getting the most uh, range of movement, getting uh, the most uh, out of this workout. Beautiful, keep that knee lifted to hip height, don't let it drop down. Good, really focus, really work here. You've got this. All right, don't worry. We only have a few more and then we will move on. Good, all right. Let's take five and four and three. Last two, and last one. And then we'll bring that knee down and kick up. Ooh, bring it down, kick up. Good, nice flex through that foot. Again, bring that belly button in towards the base of the spine, staying super engaged through the core. Oh, wow, I am feeling this. Kick up, bring it down. Kick up, bring it down. Let's just take a few more. You've got this, use your breath to help you. We're here for five, exhale, inhale, and four. Last three, good, last two, kick it up. Last one, whoo. All right, bring those knees down. Press back into your child's pose, reaching the arms out nice and long. Resting the forehead down, closing your eyes, and breathing here. 
We'll go ahead and take an inhale. And then exhale to let it go. Okay, go ahead and walk those hands all the way up. Oh, wow, feeling that. Okay, then we are going to make our way onto our back. So go ahead and lower yourself all the way down. We want to take those feet hip width distance apart. So make sure you have a little bit of space in between your feet, but they're not going out too wide. From there, walk those heels in nice and close towards your seat. Then take those arms, reach them out nice and long beside you. Press the hands down, press the shoulders down. We'll take an inhale to lift those hips up towards the ceiling and an exhale to gently roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, lift those hips. Exhale, roll all the way down, letting the lower vertebrae be the last thing to touch before your hips. Once you get down, send those hips all the way back up. Now, very important here to keep those knees tracking right over top of the ankles. So don't let those knees splay out towards the sides of the room. Good, really pressing down through those feet, letting the weight come all the way back into the heels. Inhale to lift, exhale to gently lower. Beautiful, inhale, lift, exhale to lower all the way down. Really using your breath to guide you here. Now, can you feel those belly muscles engage as you lower all the way down? You should be able to feel them starting to fire up here, specifically the lower belly as you lower all the way down. Beautiful. All right, we are just going to take one more roll down. And then we will lift those hips and keep them there. All right, so press those hands down into the mat. We are going to lift those hips up towards the ceiling, taking tiny pulses here, lifting those hip bones higher and higher, making sure that you're pressing down through the feet so that the weight comes all the way back into the shoulders. Beautiful, keep lifting higher and higher. Now, you can keep your heels down, or maybe you wanna lift those heels up off the mat. Keep pulsing up and up. Good. Keeping those knees tracked right over top of the ankles. Beautiful. Keep pulsing, feeling the backs of the legs firing up. Good. All right, little mini challenge here. You can keep your feet both down, or maybe you wanna lift those right toes up and pulse and pulse. Try to get that right leg nice and straight. And we're here for five, four, three, two, switch legs. Keep that pulse going. Nice straight leg here. Keep reaching those hips nice and high. We're here for five and four and three and two. Place that toe down, last pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, gently lower those heels down. We'll roll down one vertebrae at a time. Take those knees like windshield wipers, just rocking them from side to side. Beautiful work, you guys. Great job. All right, now we're gonna switch uh, the focus from the lower part of our, or the back half of our body to the front half. We'll begin with a little bit of uh, abdominal work. So let's keep our legs exactly as they are. So those feet are pressing down into the mat, but we are going to go ahead and lift those heels off the mat. Now, let's take those arms above our head. Imagine like you're holding a huge beach ball. So those elbows should be rounded. Those palms are turned in towards you. We're gonna take the right knee we're going to drop it open at the same time. The left arm is going to come above the head and then we'll come back to center. And then left knee, right arm, back to center. 
Good, then open right knee, left arm, back to center. Exhale to lower, inhale to center. Exhale to lower, inhale to center. Now allow that focus to really be on the lower vertebrae. We wanna press the lowest part of the spine into the mat. Do you notice that when you really press down, you feel those abs super engaged? That's what we want. We really want to get the most, um, uh, the most, oh my goodness, words this morning are failing me. Uh, we want to get the most out of this movement. Beautiful. So really pressing down through the lower vertebrae. That is going to take the rocking sensation out of the hips, which we also want as well. Let's just take a few more of these. We'll take five and four. Good, last three, last two, and last one. Beautiful. Just take a moment to hug those knees into the chest, gently rocking them from side to side. All right, now we are going to set the feet up the same way. This time, keep those heels down. Knees pointed up towards the ceiling and knees are tracking over top of the ankles. Go ahead and reach those arms out nice and long. We'll peel the head and neck and shoulders up off the mat. And then we're gonna reach for our right toes and then reach for the left toes. Good, and then go ahead and quicken that movement, really reaching nice and long. So the focus is going to stay in the obliques here for a moment. Good, reaching as long as you can. Let your gaze look up at the ceiling. Beautiful, so even though we are keeping our head and shoulders lifted, we don't wanna crunch the neck at all. We still wanna stay as long as possible through the spine. Now, if you need some support for your head, you can always bring those fingertips right behind the ears. Beautiful, keep reaching, good. Reaching nice and long for those heels, good. All right, let's take a few more. We're here for five and four and three and two and one. Beautiful. Hug those knees back into your chest. We'll gently just rock those knees from side to side. Good job. All right. From here, we are going to stack those knees right over top of the hips. Now, make sure that those knees are truly stacked over top of the hips. We often have this tendency to pull our knees in a little bit closer, but notice when you actually stack them over top of the hips, how the lower abdominals engage even more. We want to keep that sensation. We want to keep those shins parallel to the ceiling. And then again, we'll take that beach ball sensation with the arms. We're gonna take the right toes, we'll tap them down onto the mat, reaching that left arm behind you, and then come back to center. Let's exhale, left toes down, right arm back, inhale to center. Exhale to reach, inhale to center. Exhale to reach, inhale to center. Beautiful, good. Letting that arm reach back right next to your ear, reaching nice and long through the arm. Again, shins par stay parallel to the ceiling. Beautiful. And that lower spine is pressing down. Good. Keep moving with your breath here. Exhale to reach. Inhale to center. Now, if you would like an additional challenge, you can go ahead and move both feet and both arms at the same time. Exhaling to reach, inhaling to center. Keep that lower vertebrae pressing down into the mat. Exhale, reach, inhale, center. Exhale, reach, inhale, center. Beautiful. All right, we just have a few more. Let's take five and four, good. Last three, last two, and last one. Beautiful, hug those 
those knees into the, into the chest. Gently rock them from side to side. Now, if you ever need to take a little break during class, feel free to do so. Just pick up these movements whenever you can. We really want to keep proper form. So if you're noticing that your form starts to go, take a little break and then try again. All right, let's go ahead and lift those feet up towards the ceiling. Now we're coming to our nice Pilates stance with those heels together, toes slightly apart. Those legs are coming as straight as you can and then we'll reach those arms out nice and long beside us. Go ahead and drop those feet down just a few inches. From here, we'll peel the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat, and then we'll pulse our arms as we exhale. Two, three, four, five, and inhale. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Keep that lower back pressing down, lifting the head and shoulders just a little bit higher as you exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Last two. And inhale. Last one. Inhale. And then bring those knees back into the chest. Beautiful. Go ahead and rock those knees from side to side. Good. All right. We have just one more move here on our backs and then we'll go ahead and switch it up. <laughs> so let's actually take our knees into our chest here. Just give yourself one last little squeeze and then we will peel our head and shoulders up off the mat. So we are curled up in a little ball. Let's exhale out all of our air and as you inhale, Reach those feet nice and long. Reach those arms nice and long behind you. Exhale to curl everything in. Inhale to reach nice and long. Exhale to curl everything in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, pull it all in. Beautiful. Really using your breath to guide you. Really trying to extend those legs out and those arms out as nice as you can and then pulling everything in nice and close. So two opposite feelings here, the feeling of reaching everything nice and long, and then the feeling of pulling it all in. Good, getting as long as you possibly can, and then getting as small as you possibly can. Keep using your breath to guide you here. Inhale to reach, exhale to curl, inhale to reach, and exhale to curl. Beautiful. We are just here for a few more. Let's take five. And four. Good. Last three. Last two. Good. And last one. All right. Go ahead and rest your head down. Let's just let the knees rock from side to side, gently massaging that lower back. Good. All right, from here, we are going to stack the knees over top of the hips once more. We'll bring our hands towards the back of the thighs, and then we'll peel the head and shoulders up off the, back, uh, off the mat. And then we are going to rock up to a nice seated position, trying to keep those shins parallel, and then we'll roll all the way back. Rocking up and then coming back. Now, this move is a really using your core muscles to help you sit all the way up. But I like to also think of this as a free massage. Good. Really rolling through all of those back muscles. Good. This feels so nice. Beautiful. Rolling back. Sitting up. Let's take three more. Last two, good, and last one, beautiful. All right, then let's go ahead and just hug those knees into the chest for a moment. We are going to swing our feet around behind us. Okay, we are going to come to all fours once more, but this time we are going to walk our toes to the center of our mat. Walk those toes all the way back to come into our high plank. 
Now make sure that those shoulders are stacked right over top of wrist. We're pressing out through the hands, fingers are spread nice and wide. Let's go ahead and bring the knee in towards the chest, hovering and rounding here. And then we'll bring that foot up towards the ceiling. So we hover and then lift the back foot. Bring the knee in, pull everything in, and then lift, beautiful. Exhale here, inhale to lift the back foot. Exhale, pull it in, inhale to lift. Are you guys sweating yet? Because I am, <laughs> good. Exhale, pull it in, inhale to lift. Let's take five more, you've got this. Four more, good. Last three, last two, good, and the last one. All right, go ahead and place that toe down. Let's place the knees down. Let's press back into a little child's pose before we roll to their side. All right, I am sweating. This is kind of hot. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and come back up to all fours. Hands stacked under, stacked under shoulders, knees stacked under hips. Go ahead and press down through those hands, walk those toes back, and we'll come to that high plank. All right, you guys, you know what's coming. Bring that left knee in, inhale to reach it up high. Exhale, pull it in, inhale to reach up. Exhale, pull it in, Inhale up. Beautiful. Keep moving with your breath. Keep pressing down through those hands. Maybe the muscles begin to shake here. That's okay. Let's take five. Last four. Good. Last three. Last two. Beautiful. Last one. All right. Place that toe down. Place those knees down. Press back into your child's pose for just a moment. All right. And then slowly we will come all the way back up to all fours. This time let's drop the elbows down. So you can either bring your hands out like a number 11, or maybe you wanna interlace those fingers Whatever works best for you, just make sure that those elbows are stacked right underneath of the shoulders. From there, go ahead, walk those feet back, coming into your low plank. Make sure that you're bringing the belly button in towards the base of the spine. The crown of the head is reaching nice and long, and those heels are reaching back. Let's inhale to rock forward on those toes. Exhale to press back. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale, pressing back. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, pushing back. You've got this. I hope I'm not torturing you too much. You can do this. You are strong. You have an amazing core. Let it guide you. Let your breath guide you. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Let's take three. Last two, good, last one, and then drop those knees. We'll press back into your child's pose. Beautiful work. Let's take an inhale, and then exhale, let it go. All right. We are going to swing those feet around in front of us. And then slowly, we are going to come to a nice seated position. Make sure that you're right on those sits bones. So moving any extra love from underneath of you. And from there, we will flex those toes, pull those knees all the way up. So you are really pulling up on those thighs to help you sit up nice and tall and to allow those legs to be super engaged now. We really want to engage the legs. That will come in handy in just a moment. Let's take an inhale to reach those arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, we will reach for those toes. Let that head just round over for a moment. 
It's okay if you can't touch the toes. We're just getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs. Let go of all of your breath here. As you inhale, we are going to roll all the way up through center. Now keep those legs engaged. We are lowering down one vertebrae at a time onto our mat. We'll reach those arms behind us as we inhale. And as you exhale, peel up head, shoulders, upper back, middle back, finally lower back, hollowing out through the belly, and then reach for those legs once more. Inhale, coming up through center. Exhale, gently rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Reach those arms nice and long behind you. And then slowly peeling up head, shoulders, upper back, middle back. And then finally reaching for those legs once more. So again, really keep those legs squeezed together. Really engage those thighs so that you can keep those legs on the mat. There is a tendency to uh, begin to lift those legs. Maybe if you really have trouble keeping them down, you can place something on top of those thighs. Something like a book could work, maybe a tiny weight, whatever you need, or just really focus on keeping those legs super engaged. Good. All right, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale to reach. Exhale to peel, head, shoulders, upper back, middle back. Coming back through center and taking that good stretch in those legs through center and then lowering all the way down. Inhale to reach, exhale to roll all the way up. Beautiful. This is always the point where I really notice that I need a pedicure. <laughs> As we are really focusing on those feet as we pull ourselves up and then reach for those toes. Good. <laughs> Beautiful. We'll just take a few more. Reaching back, peeling up. Good. Let's go ahead and take one more and then we will meet all the way down on our mats. Let's take a nice little uh, good morning stretch. So reach those legs out nice and long. Reach those arms out nice and long behind you. We'll reach to one side and then reach to the other side. Beautiful. Just getting all that good length through the body, getting a nice little stretch. And then we're gonna keep our right arm reached nice and long as we roll onto the right side. Now, you can rest your head on your arm or you can prop yourself up on that elbow. Take those legs, move them just a few inches in front of you so that you can see your toes. Now we are going to take that top leg, we're going to kick it up towards the ceiling, we're gonna flex the foot and squeeze the thighs together as you lower down. So inhale, point that toe, kick up, exhale, flex, lower down. So here we are firing up the inner thighs, Firing up the outer thighs. Beautiful, working all those muscles in the leg. Beautiful, kicking up. Exhale to squeeze down. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, squeeze down. Beautiful, keep that length through the spine. Keep the length through the legs. Press the shoulders away from the ears and continue to breathe here. Good. Let the fingers rest just right in front of your belly button. And just let the fingers rest, not the whole palm. We want to stay balanced through the core. So still engaging those belly muscles that we have worked so hard on. Good. They should really be feeling it. And they're still staying engaged as we are working our legs. All right. Let's go ahead and take just two more of these. Inhale to kick up, exhale to lower down. Was that two more? No, I think it was two more. I don't know. <laughs> and then from here, we'll go ahead and bend the knees. So those knees uh, are together right here. Let those toes be pointed so that the toes are together and the heels are just slightly apart. From here, we'll lift the top knee up like a clamshell and then lower back down. 
Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift. Exhale down. Good. Keeping those inner thighs and those outer thighs nice and active here. Good. Again, staying connected with the breath. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Staying active in the upper body. Beautiful. And keep moving with your breath. Kind of blending into my mat today. I didn't really notice that until just now. And we have this beautiful orchid here. Uh, hopefully I can keep that alive. I'm really terrible with plants, but uh, this one I have some high hopes for. You know, here they're pretty difficult to take care of. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Inhale to reach up, exhale to lower down. Maybe you noticed I was just trying to distract you there. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do during workouts is just really try to distract myself, think of other things so I don't notice how um, challenging it is. <laughs> Good. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. That's another reason why we stay so connected to the breath is that uh, the breath does guide us through our movements, but it gives your mind something else to think about besides the screaming pain that we got coming from the thighs here. <laughs> Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Let's take three more and two more. Good. And last one. Beautiful. Now we are going to go ahead and lift the top knee and then we'll pulse it up towards the ceiling. Keep that toe pointed. My foot is now blending in with the sun but we really want to feel that squeeze through the outer thigh. So lift that knee up higher and higher. Instead of lifting through the uh, toe, you want to lift through the knee. Beautiful. We're here for five and four and three and two and one. Now lower that knee. We're going to hug the knee into the chest. We're going to reach it nice and long and then kick it up towards the ceiling. So we bring the knee in, drag it back, kick up, and down. Knee comes in, reach long, and up and down. Now do me a favor, as you reach your leg nice and long, feel that squeeze through the glute, and then kick it up towards the ceiling. Reach and kick, and lower. And knee comes in, we reach, kick up, and lower. Beautiful, good. All right, you guys, this one is a combo of all of the muscles we've been working so hard on. Last move on this side. Beautiful. Squeeze the knee in and kick and lift and lower. Knee comes in and reach and kick and lower. Let's take five and kick and four and kick. Last three and kick. Last two. Beautiful, and last one. Good, okay, let's reach both of those legs nice and long. We are going to spin our way all the way to the other side. Oh, beautiful work, you guys. Stay with me here. We have just one more side to do, and then we will really stretch it out. So know that you are almost there. Let's set ourselves up the same way. Make sure that you can see those feet. They should be pointed towards the corner of your mat. From there, bring those fingers down right in front of your belly button. We'll take the top leg up, kick it up towards the ceiling. Oh, my hip just popped there. Flex that foot as you lower down. Kick that foot up and then flex it all the way down. I have some really, uh, cracky hips from all my years of ballet. My party trick used to be that I can pop my hips out of their sockets, which is um, not something that I'm going to demonstrate on camera, <laughs> but um, I don't think it's very healthy for you, but something weirdly that my body does. Good. <laughs> Take a point up towards the ceiling and then flex on the way down. Now, Make sure that those legs are super long. You really don't want to imagine like you are being pulled out through your toe 
and then reaching that heel out as long as possible. Good. So we are creating all this length through our legs. Kick that foot up, flex it all the way down. Feel the squeeze and feel the squeeze of the inner thighs as you lower down. Point that toe up, flex, taking it nice and slow on the way down. Make sure that you're not just dropping your leg down, you're really, really squeezing to lower. Beautiful. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale, flexing down. Beautiful. All right. We are just here for a few more. Know that the end of class is coming. Stay with your breath. Let's take five and four. Good. Last three. Oh, last two. And last one. Good. All right, then we'll bend those knees, place those toes together, heels slightly apart, lift the top knee up towards the ceiling, and then gently lower it down. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Really feeling the squeeze, you guys. Beautiful. Lift and lower. This is really feeling like I am torturing my students, <laughs> but uh, don't worry. We are really just gaining all of that muscle definition. My favorite thing about Pilates is that we really work on all the um, trouble spots. There are no trouble spots on your body, but the uh, things that people really always want to tone. So those inner thighs, those outer thighs, the abs, <laughs> all of those muscles, and we work on a little bit of arms as well. So all those muscles that we really, really want to tone up, Pilates does amazing work for all of that. And if you can't feel that, well, you must be a superhuman because <laughs> this is really burning right now. <laughs> Keep using your breath to guide you. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Make sure you can feel the squeeze at the top and then squeeze on the way down. All right, you guys, we're just here for a few more. Let's take five and four. Keep those toes together. Three and two and the last one. Then we'll take that knee up towards the ceiling and we'll lift and pulse. Beautiful. Squeezing through your side body, squeezing through this hip, lifting the knee up instead of the toe up. Beautiful, that's really gonna change the definition here. Beautiful, pulsing higher and higher, feeling the squeeze. You've got this, we're almost there. We'll take five and four and three and two and one. Bring that knee down, all right, last move here. Bring that knee in, reach out and kick and lower. Knee comes in and squeeze out and kick and lower. Oh my goodness, get that leg nice and straight as you kick it up. Saying that to myself too. <laughs> Sometimes we all need a little reminder. Bring that knee in, reach out and kick and up. Knee comes in using your core, reach and kick and up. Good, all right, we are almost there. Let's take five. Woo, feel the burn. Last three. Good. Kick up and lower. Last two. And kick and lower. And knee comes in. Reach and kick and lower. Okay, now I know I said that was the last move, but we're getting a little bonus here. Let's flip onto our bellies. Bring the elbows underneath of the shoulders. We are going to interlace the fingers, tuck those toes, last low plank, reach the head out nice and long, reach the heels nice and long behind you. Take an inhale and exhale. Get those hips down, get them in the same line as your shoulders. Good. We are here for 10. You've got this nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Drop those knees down. Press back into your child's pose. Good job. Let's take an inhale and an exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go. Slowly we are going to come into our nice upward facing dog, pressing those hands down, untucking the toes, pressing the shoulders away from the ears. You can keep your thighs down. Go ahead and just stretch out those belly muscles. Beautiful. Gaze is up. Take an inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And as you exhale, press back into your final child's pose, reaching those hips nice and low, reaching those arms nice and long. One more breath. Exhale, let it go. Gently walk yourself all the way up. Have a seat and give yourself a round of applause. Beautiful work today. Thank you for following along. Uh, you can follow me at Erica underscore NYC underscore Yogi. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.